George is 12 now, you know, and he asked me recently to go on a field trip. He said, Dad, will you be the parent and come be on the field trip with Miss Timco and the rest of us for going to the zoo? And I said, yeah, I'll go. It's not like I got a regular job at home, you know. <laughs> you know, I don't go to Lowe's on Monday and drive a forklift, although I would if you quit coming. I'll go down there and work, you know. I'm sure they'd love to have me. I like just walking around down there. <laughs> anyway, so I'm, I go to the zoo. <laughs> I go to the zoo with Miss Timco and 26 fifth graders, right? You know, and, and we're down there, and we, that day it was real hot, and I remember we walked in the, uh, we walked in the monkey cage, and it was, there's air conditioner in there. You know, there's a cage, but there's a window with, a, with bars, you know. And so I'm, I sit down on a little seating wall with, with Miss Timco, and I'm looking in this monkey cage, and there's like seven monkeys, big ones. I mean, to give you an idea how big they are, if one of them got a hold of me, he could just have his way, you know, with what he could do whatever he wanted. <laughs> I can't think of a more horrible death than that. <laughs> well, maybe if I sit here and think about it for a while, probably. Could. But, so I'm looking at it, and there's an old monkey sitting up in the corner. And I could tell he's older because his whiskers are a little gray, and he looks a little more pissed off than the rest of them. <laughs> and on the back of his neck, there's a five-inch wide gap and ten inches across of no hair on the back of his neck. And he's the only one like that. And I'm watching him, looking at him. And I notice he's pulling out one hair at a time, and he's eating it. I'm thinking, surely he didn't eat all that today. His stomach be upset. <laughs> and he turns around and he hikes his leg up on this log and he's chewing on his hair. Reminds me of Pawpaw sitting on the porch chewing on a piece of straw watching the kids play. And he's looking right at me. I'm looking at him. And he just starts pissing. I'm thinking, man, that is a nasty animal. And he's looking at me like, well, this is what you want, isn't it? See us in our natural habitat. This is how we roll in the monkey cage, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm thinking, that's a nasty talking monkey, too. <laughs> and with no warning at all, he reaches down behind him and pulls up a turd. And I thought, hey, that ain't a rock right there, kid. That is not a rock. <laughs> and he sets it down beside him. I'm going to set that right there. That's my poo, -poo. I'm going to set that right there. Like a muffin, you know. Like, I'm going to put that right there. And Miss Timko's sitting here watching it all with me. She goes, come on, kids. Let's go see the elephants. I'm like, can we just stay a little longer and see how this shit ends? Can't imagine it gets much weirder than this shit. <laughs> so there he is sitting on a log, chewing on his hair, piss dribbling out the end of his dick, and a turd sitting next to it. <laughs> you got that picture in your head real nice? <laughs> Let's wait. Okay. So he's sitting there, and again, he reaches down behind him, and this I kind of know what's coming. And he pulls up a turd, but this time he's like David Copperfield. Like, Look, hocus pocus. <laughs> He just ate his own poo-poo. <laughs> he must think if he acts crazy, they'll let him out of here. <laughs> well, maybe if you'd have just ate your hair, maybe. If you eat your own poop, they think you're a danger to other monkeys. They'll never let you out of here. <laughs> and he's looking right at me. like, what? Fuck. <laughs> he understands me. Like, that monkey's on to something. Because every now and then you got to act crazy. That 16-year-old boy I got, he's bigger than me, taller than me, puts his arm around me, calls me little man. I don't like that shit. <laughs> Getting to where he likes to test the water started a couple of years ago, usually around Thanksgiving. Come on, Daddy, let's arm wrestle. What do you do? Come on. All right, boy, come on. Come over here. If the whole family's around, <laughs> what do you do? Is that all you got? Because <laughs> if that's all you got, mm, that's what Daddy's got, right? You just let him know. You either let him win or you beat him. Just to let him know daddy's stronger, you know, and he can take care of shit, right? This past Thanksgiving, different. <laughs> God, right, boy, come on, here we go. <coughs> oh, shit. <coughs> Is that all you got? Because if that's all you got, daddy ain't doing it. <laughs> he said, come on, daddy, you know I can beat you. I said, boy, you're so weak, I'll tear your arm off, throw it in the floor, dog will get it, bury it, we'll never see it again. You can't let your 16-year-old boy beat you arm wrestling, for real. Because then he thinks he can whip your ass. And you know what? He can. <laughs> and that's a whole nother set of issues right there. Give me the keys to the truck, daddy. You ain't getting the keys. Give me them fucking keys. Good God, there. Oh, my God. 
My wife's like, what are you giving the keys for? He's gonna whip my ass. What do you want me to do? You can't ever let it get like that. You want these keys, boy? Come get these motherfucking keys. Woo! You never know when you're gonna have to eat your own shit to prove a point. <laughs> <laughs>